Hi, and welcome to another edition of Gifted Monkey TV, all things toy and toy related. I'm your host, Jordan Preston, and when we come back, we're going to go a little retro when we take a look at a bat vehicle that's sure to make your bat collection pop, or is it pow? Holy awesomeness, Batman. Did I not tell you guys? We are back going a little retro with the 1966 Batmobile from the 1960s television series, Batman. This is fantastic. This is by Mattel. This is a, a retro vehicle that just came out. We're going to take a look at it and let's start out by looking at the box of this bad boy. The first thing you notice about this box, besides the great vibrant colors, is that it's mag it's a mammoth sized box. It's a huge box because this is the first time Mattel has made a Batmobile that can fit the actual six inch, seven inch figures from the DC universe. This is the first time, and I'm so glad that they decided to do this with the retro 1966 Batmobile. We haven't gotten a Batmobile like this ever, besides the little Hot Wheel Batmobiles or maybe the model kit. Uh, uh, retro 66 Batmobile versions. We haven't had an actual car, let alone a car that can fit six inch figures uh, ever. So this is a fantastic foray for Mattel. The box is done in a vibrant purple and, and yellow and orange, green. You see the, the traditional Batman logo that was on the TV series. This is classic TV series right here. You see the word Batmobile there, adult collector. So this is for the adult collector because, for one, most kids nowadays don't even know about a Batman from the 60s and television show, and, and most... Uh, people wouldn't be able to play with this Batmobile because it has a lot of fragile extending parts on it, so it wouldn't last long. Also, the price point is so high that it wouldn't be feasible to buy that for a toddler for him to roll it and break it up in a few weeks. So you see the Batmobile here. You see a, a artist rendering of the Batmobile. Very nice, that, that blue, that sparkly blue. It says, the first Batman classic TV series Batmobile that fits six-inch figures. That's great. Six six inch figures. That's great. Very nice. On the top, you see the bat signal and that vibrant orange, yellow for the bat signal, black. And in here, if you can catch it, it has the uh, <laughs> the lyrics for the Batman, the beginning opening of the Batman TV theme. Na 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 na. That's really great how they have that in there. You turn around to the side, there's a nice frontal shot of the Batmobile with Batman and Robin, Varum going in there. And it gives you all the campiness and the eye-popping action that was in your face in the 1960s for that television series. Turn it around to the back. They give you a lot of nice stuff. A nice retro picture of Batman and Robin jumping with action out of the Batmobile. The Batmobile lights are on. You see here, it shows you the other figures that are in the series of this 1966 television figure line. You have Batman himself, you have the Joker, you have Penguin, you have Riddler, you have Catwoman, and then you have Surf's Up Batman. And then, of course, you have Robin as well, but he's not on the box here. Get a nice, nifty little white bat signal there. And here it says, to the Batmobile, which was a quote for Batman or Robin always made during the course of the TV show. And it gives you a little story about how Batman and Robin are a cult following and a dynamic duo. But the biggest thing of the TV show was the Batmobile and how it helped Cape Crusader go on crime adventures. So very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's pop this puppy open and see what it looks like. Now that the Batmobile is Totally out of the box. Let's take a look at this bad boy from a full perspective. Immediately you're struck by the great paint job on this Batmobile. It's beautiful. It's done in a nice high gloss paint that almost looks metallic from a distance. I think the whole deal of having this Batmobile for collectors is how good it looks from a distance, from a gazing look. Once you pick it up or once you get close to it, then you start to notice certain things, which we'll go into in a few moments. But from a distance, this absolutely is a beautiful piece of machinery right here. You get a fully, fully uh, 
detailed, accurate look at how the Batmobile was in the 1960s television show. So let's talk about all the positives first. First off, they give you great paint detailing. You see the red pin strapping along the side and along the top of the, the wingspan here. Beautiful. They have the bat signal. Even the, the wheels have the bat hubcaps on them as they had the bat hubcap covers on them on, right now on all four tires. We like that. Nice paint job of the orange lights the Batmobile had. You have the grill piece in here. The, once again, the red striping all the way through. This red is kind of a, like an orangey red, which was actually the actual color George Barris did use on the actual Batmobile in the movie, in the television show. Some of, some comics and some things have it a deep red. It actually was a, a high brighter orange red, so it popped when it was on camera on television. You have all the things that were on the Batmobile that you would expect to see on the Batmobile. The radar scanner, the uh, siren top, the antennas, the two uh, buttons they had here, even the labeled uh, bat apparatus over here. As we tilt it forward, you see we have a nice silver dashboard interior which is accurate to the Batmobile. We have the bat phone. We have working bat seat belts across the, across the waist. We have the bat brake. We have the bat extinguisher with a little bat sign on it, just like in the television show. On the driver's side, we have the Bat, this is the bat parachute release. We have that. We have a working steering wheel. Now, the steering wheel does move from side to side, all the way around, actually, but it does not affect the wheels. The wheels will not turn. The wheels are solidly straight ahead. Also, uh, we have nice color. They took, they went the extra mile on the interior, and they put extra little colored lights on the top of the dashboard. Uh, which gives it a nice bright uh, appeal like it had in the television series. We have the door locks on both sides painted silver. And we have nice canopy. The canopy is done with that nice silver railing, which was in the, the television show as well. But the little bolt sections on it. Nice realism on it. It looks like a nice realistic uh, depiction of the Batmobile. Now, some of the things that I question and that might be considered a negative about this are a few things. Let's start off. One is, uh, a lot of the pieces are rubber, and not just a hard rubber, but a real, a real bendy, malleable rubber. The radar piece, the antenna piece, the bat phone, the, uh, you see that steering, that uh, brake, look at that, how that bounces up like that. That's rubbery. Even the exhausts are rubber. Now you would think that as it being adult collectible, that it would, this might even be just chrome plastic, solid hard chrome plastic, which would been great uh, like that. I guess they figured because it is Mattel and on the, be on the safe side just in case it did fall into the hands of a few younger kids, they didn't want them to get hurt with it too much or be able to hurt themselves. So at least they could fall legally back on that, that all the parts were plastic that could be damaging to somebody if they swallowed or, or stuck them in their eye or body part. Also, that the fact that this Batmobile is light, it's obviously hollow. It's just hollow plastic. I can hold this up with two fingers if I wanted to. If I position my fingers correctly, you see right there? I can hold it up with two fingers. It's a very light uh, piece of equipment. Very light. And also, the rubber parts on the interior of the cockpit are, are down plugged down here. Although you don't turn the car over, it's just kind of weird that they did that. But they didn't paint that over or try to hide that. They just let it be. Uh, they did give you the turbine engine. That was kind of cool right there. Leading down to the, the mock exhaust pipe. Leading to the dual exhaust to the bat uh, turbine uh, exhaust right here. They gave you two bat chutes. I love that. They give you also, it says, Gotham. 1966, nice license plate. Even the end of the wingspans are in that kind of hard, it's a little more harder, but in that rubbery bending uh, field, which I don't know why they did that either. It had to be something in the molding that they decided to do that. Uh, the tires are also hard plastic, not rubber, although that might end up being a plus in the long run, as because usually rubber wheels tend to deteriorate or degrade as years go by. So about four or five years down the road, this will still be kind of good and solid. The wheels do roll. Once they're taken off the braces, the wheels do roll. 
actually get a nice roll of playability with that. But once again, I think this Batmobile was just made to uh, display from a distance. It's one of those things that when you see it from a distance, it looks fantastic. When you get up on top of it or you hold it in your hand, then you start to see little faults in it. But you know what? As an adult collector, I guess it's better to have a Batmobile, 66 Batmobile, than not have one at all. So us collectors, old school collectors, will take it any way we get it because this is just truly a phenomenal gift to collectors of Batman. So now let's take this Batman figure that is made by Mattel to fit into this Batmobile, the official Adam West style 1966 Batman that is made for this uh, Batmobile. Let's take him out the package and see how he fits in the Batmobile. Just a quick mini re mini uh, review of this Batman uh, Mattel 6-inch action figure. You get a nice depiction of Adam West from the 66 Batman television show. The head swivels from side to side all the way around with full rotation. Goes up and down that, about that much, down about this much. Not a lot, but it's not made for that. Uh, you get a little bit of an ab crunch that goes down about this much and up about that much. Arms get that much rotation up to the side, down out with like that nice little uh, up and down elbow action right there little wrist rotation legs go up about that much go back about that much you get that much in the knee and you get a little bit of a leg a leg rotation up there look at that swivel look at that nice swivel on that foot from the, from, from the ankle Look at that. But no pivot. It won't go side to side. But it will go up high like that and down like that. And be able to bend to get into that Batmobile. Also, they give you with the Batman figure a nice looking uh, artist rendering of the 66 Batman dynamic duo sitting in the cockpit of the Batmobile. And on the back, I guess there's a, a, a artist rendering of the Batmobile 66 version. But it, it's only a piece of it. So I guess as you get the other figures, you put it together like a puzzle. So that's kind of cool. And it comes, <coughs> comes, excuse me, comes with this nice display stand. It says POW. It sits there like that. And he sits on top and it says POW. But now let's see how he fits into his vehicle, the Batmobile. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. The Cape Crusader, the Adam West style six inch Mattel Batman figure inside of the 66 Mattel Batmobile. Great, great, great look as we take a look around. Great look. And I'll show you some stuff on this while he's in here. Um, raise him up, and as you can see from a top view, he's locked into his seatbelt. The seatbelt goes in, and you just pull it through the tab on the side of the console. You, you pull it down here, and, it's, and it locks right in there. So there you go. It'll lock like that. And it won't affect your rollability at all. And he's got a seatbelt. He won't come out. See that? He's harnessed in. And with the nice flexibility on his hands, he can actually hold the bat steering wheel. The cape is made of cloth, so he just sits on it and tuck it down. Now, i got to tell you in all honesty, it took a, a few minutes of fudging to get the seatbelt on and pulling it through and getting the cape aligned just right because the cape would bunch up because his fabric would move around. But, you know, it's that's part of the deal with any toy of getting it just right. So once you fudge around with it for a few minutes, a few moments, it'll look fantastic. You could cock his head to the side, cock it that way. It looks great. Have him look at you while he's in the Batmobile. Look at that. Is that not great? Well, there you go, guys. The 1966 Batmobile. Isn't this a cool-looking thing? This is just a... I'm so over the moon by this. Holy awesome tacular Batman. This is just truly great to see this Batmobile depicted in such a large scale. We're used to getting the Hot Wheel size and the slightly bigger Hot Wheels and the Corgi, which is about that big. But an actual, actual six inch, uh, able to fit a six inch figure Batmobile in the 66 style is truly, truly, truly a wonderful gift for us uh, old war horse collectors of everything Batman. So that's truly, truly nice. Now, should you get this? I'll tell you this. Uh, this is uh, for adult collectibles. All the things I told you about it earlier, the drawbacks of being like plastic, anything. But from the viewpoint, if you're a collector, you're going to just sit it on your shelf anyway and just have people look at it or in your case and have people look at it. So it's going to look fantastic, and that's what it does. It looks fantastic. So if you don't touch it, don't play with it, don't try to hold it for any value, 
It's a fantastic looking piece and it definitely will be a conversation piece in your collection, especially if you collect Batmobiles of different movies, different TV shows, different things. It's definitely a, uh, will be an addition to that collection if you have that. It's going to run you anywhere from $55 to about $61 with tax and license by the time you get it out the door. It's sold as a Toys R Us exclusive. I found mine around Christmas time 2013 in December online at Toys R Us online with a 15 uh, percent discount that Toys R Us sent me online to my email and then a, and then a free shipping. I got it for about 51 bucks. All together, all said and done, but with, with uh, uh, everything done. But in, it's in Toys R Us stores now. In the month of February, you'll find them plentiful in the Toys R Us stores, in the retail stores. Yes, you should get it. It's an excellent depiction. You won't find anything better than this until Hot Toys releases their really big Batmobile for one six scale figures, and that's going to run you who knows how much. At least, I'm sure, at least five hundred dollars or more for that. But for the price point, $51, to be honest, because of the lightness and because they call it adult collectible, this could have ran you realistically maybe about $35 out the door. And, and uh, Mattel could have still made a profit and still done some nice things with it at $35 retail. But, you know, I guess because of the licensing of this property, they have to pay not only DC, Warner Brothers, but also Fox. Because Fox owns the licensing to everything from the Batman television series. So that's a little extra payment other than other Batman things. You only have to pay Warner Brothers in DC. They have to pay Warner Brothers, DC, and Fox. So it's a little bit more. So I guess that's why the price point is a little bit higher, given what you get. But you know what? It's worth it. Again, how often do you get a 66 Batmobile that is accurate, looks great, and can fit wonderfully in your uh, collection as a conversation piece? So there you go, guys. Two thumbs up for this Batmobile. This is great. And they have the actual Bat Batman figures that can fit in it. Fantastic. And they look great in there. If you notice, uh, sometimes they're DC uh, Universe uh, Batman because of the plastic capes or the rubbery capes won't be able to sit down correctly. They were smart enough to put a cloth cape on this guy. It sits in wonderfully, as does the Robin, which we don't have it today. But get them. Get them. Get them. Well, that's our review. Thanks for joining us on our look at the Mattel 1966 TV series, TV accurate Batmobile and Batman by Mattel. Great. And as always, collecting toys, especially a 1966 TV accurate Batmobile, can be as fun as a barrel of monkeys, but respect the monkey. Play nice. Take care, guys, and like us.